Why 84% of Japanese women think cheating is good for marriage? Japanese women are as prone to cheating as men. Paying for sex is not cheating to them. One woman said this in a viral video. I'd rather they go to a prostitute than talk to random girls. Is cheating really normalized in Japan? One in five Japanese admit to cheating on a spouse. Most women and men say affairs help their marriage. I wouldn't like it if they have feelings for the one. One woman said. But I don't care if it's just for sex. It's okay if he pays money. Another added. It all comes down to the way marriage works in Japan. There is pressure to marry before 30. In the 1980s, women unmarried at 25 were Christmas cakes. They were seen as leftovers or past their prime. Now, the age is 31. Women unmarried at 31 are New Year's noodles. They symbolize going stale and unwanted. So women and men marry just to check the box. It becomes a business agreement, not love. Spouses often neglect each other. They feel free to seek affairs. Japan has infamous hookup bars. Guarded by staff, they offer anonymous trysts. Their anonymity enables stress-free hookups. But patrons often learn their hookup is married. Half of the visitors usually are. They satisfy their needs and then go home. Many Japanese don't view prostitution as cheating. Even their Supreme Court upheld this. A wife sued her husband's mistress, a hostess. She accused the mistress of ruining their marriage. But the judge said it was just business. Prostitution turns sex into a commodity in Japan. It changes how people see love and relationships. Japan offers many sex services. There are red light districts, love hotels, and hostess bars almost everywhere. Their services cost a bit more than a simple lunch. Men in Japan like virtual relationships. They enjoy role-playing games and adult video rooms. Lifelike robots are growing more popular. Many men prefer robots to humans. Some even form relationships with them. Yet cheating in Japan is still guided by a moral code. Don't hurt your partner. To many Japanese, sex is not intimacy, but a meaningful relationship is. Of course cheating hurts families. It has a ripple effect. Kids see their parents cheat. Then they start questioning the whole point of being in a relationship. Women focus on their careers and put off marriage. Men simply pay for companionship. Every five years, the Japanese government conducts a survey. The statistics keep getting worse. Millions of Japanese don't date. 45% of women and 25% of men don't care about sex or despise it. Over 60% of people in their 20s are virgins. Japan's celibacy syndrome is a national concern. The birth rate has been declining since the 1970s. In 1973, it peaked at 2.1 million births. It may fall to 740,000 by 2040. It's not just distorted family values. Workload is a key factor. Japanese corporate culture requires long hours. Regular employees work 50 to 53 hours per week. 15% average 60 hours. Such hours lead to a lack of sleep and exhaustion. This lowers libido. Can a society thrive when relationships and intimacy are devalued?